Kawhi Leonard has officially threatened the San Antonio Spurs that he will sit out the entire season unless they trade him to the Los Angeles Lakers. Kawhi Leonard has made his intentions very, very clear. Trade me to LA or else. He's already said that he's going to sign there in 2019 if he get when if slash when he gets the opportunity and now he's forcing the Spurs hand. Now that LeBron is officially in LA, now that the Cogs are officially rolling on getting another super team with the Lakers, it is now time for Kawhi Leonard to come to the Lakers and wear the purple and gold. He has wanted to play for the Lakers since it seems like the start of this last season with the injury that went down, only played nine games. The relationship was fraying and then it finally split this offseason once the Lakers officially got LeBron James. Kawhi has made his intentions very, very clear. Crystal clear, in fact, to the Spurs. If you do not trade me, I will not play for you, and I will be sitting on that bench every single night while you look silly for not getting a trade package for me, or I'm just going to leave for free anyway next year and sign with the Lakers in 2019. I love Kawhi Leonard playing hardball here with the Spurs. Now, I'm a big Spurs guy. I'm a big Greg Popovich guy, but I'm also a big go get your money, man, because look, the NBA, especially just all sports in general, you don't play this game for a long time. And if you're a guy like Kawhi Leonard, who is an absolute superstar and one of the five best players in basketball when he is healthy, and that is unquestionable at this point. When Kawhi Leonard is healthy, he is a top five player in basketball. And if you're him and you have a choice at this time over who you can play for, go right ahead. Choose the Lakers, go play with LeBron, be his number two, go get your max deal, and figure out the rest later. He'll still be a title contender. He'll still be one of the best players in the NBA. And the Lakers, with Kawhi and LeBron, will be one of the best teams in all of basketball. Let's continue on here with our Kawhi Leonard trade rumors. Are the Lakers not willing to give up Kyle Kuzma? Well, at this time, they have told the Spurs, no Kyle Kuzma is allowed. They also said that they are completely unwilling to give up three first round picks for Kawhi Leonard. Now, when the Spurs were leaking their trade negotiations with the 76ers to try to spook the Lakers, it became clear that the Spurs were asking for two things. They're asking for two current starting NBA players and three future first round picks. Now, the Lakers have made it very clear. We're not giving up three first-round picks for Kawhi Leonard if he's just going to sign with us in 2019. And we're certainly not going to give up Kyle Kuzma if, again, Kawhi Leonard is going to sign with us in 2019. The Lakers hold all the leverage right now. Now, I don't think they can get by without giving up someone like a Brandon Ingram plus maybe one or two first-round uh, first picks plus maybe a sign-and-trade of Julius Randle. But them not wanting to move Kyle Kuzma is a great Great idea. I mean, why move him at all? Why move a 22-year-old, more mature, already polished scorer when you can give up someone like Brandon Ingram who is still very much in the air over whether or not he is going to end up being an NBA star? I know they averaged the same points per game last year, but if you're the Lakers, you want 100% trade Brandon Ingram for Kawhi Leonard over Kyle Kuzma. Simply because Kawhi Leonard and Brandon Ingram play the same position, and do about the same thing on an NBA floor. Kyle Kuzma brings a much different element to an NBA offense than Brandon Ingram does. I'm not saying that Kyle Kuzma is better than Brandon Ingram. I don't think we know who is better between the two quite yet. We still need to see them play a little more NBA basketball. I mean, we're in year, going into year three of Brandon Ingram, year two of Kyle Kuzma. So we still have a long way to go to see who is better. But personally, if I'm the Lakers... I want Brandon Ingram over Kyle Kuzma in that trade simply because, again, if you have Kawhi Leonard and you have LeBron James, what is your need to have Brandon Ingram as well? You need Kyle Kuzma to give you a bigger option at the four who can also shoot. But if you have Brandon Ingram, I just think it gets a little bit repetitive having LeBron and Kawhi and Brandon Ingram, especially because we know that Brandon Ingram can kind of play the point forward position. But again, you have LeBron. So you don't really need Brandon Ingram to fill that role. So Kawhi Leonard with the Lakers, don't want to give up Kyle Kuzma. 
I think it makes a lot of sense. You know what else makes a lot of sense? Using Autolist.com to find your new car today. Driving a car is fun. Car shopping should be too. Go to Autolist.com or download their top rated apps. For iPhone or Android, you're watching the Cam Rogers Show. I know, I'm not Cam Rogers. I'm actually Harris Rubenstein. You can follow me on Twitter at Sportstein. As I take you through the entire week of Cam Rogers shows, he is on vacation. He's up there in the Northeast enjoying the beautiful beaches that the East Coast has to offer. So I'll be taking you through all the top NBA news this week. Let's get back to Kawhi Leonard here. Is the relationship between Kawhi Leonard and the Spurs completely centered? Absolutely. So much so that the Spurs have not even offered him a super mass extension, which was the entire point of the meeting with him in the first place. And now, as I said before, Kawhi has threatened to sit out this season if there isn't a Lakers train. Now, we know that LeBron obviously is in L.A., and the, the Sixers' pursuit of Kawhi Leonard has basically ended. So now it's Lakers or bust for Kawhi Leonard and the San Antonio Spurs. And if I'm R.C. Buford and I'm Greg Popovich with the Spurs, at this point, you just take whatever you can get from the Los Angeles Lakers. If they're throwing at you Brandon Ingram plus a sign and trade of Julius Randle and a first-round pick, take it and run. That is all you're going to be able to get for Kawhi Leonard at this time. If you can get Brandon Ingram and two first-round picks, you take it and run. Take your players, take your picks, and go, or you're going to end up getting nothing for one of the five best players in basketball, and Kawhi is just going to waltz on over to the Lakers and sign with them for free. Make a trade, get some assets back for Kawhi. You won 50 games without him last year, Spurs. You'll be just fine. Imagine the Spurs team that they had last year, plus Brandon Ingram, plus some future assets to maybe make a move for another star. That is still a very good team. That is still a Western Conference Finals contending team in the San Antonio Spurs without Kawhi Leonard if they're able to pick up the likes of Brandon Ingram. So I still think the Spurs have a chance to be a good team next year. But if the Lakers do get Kawhi Leonard, I want to know from you guys, does getting Kawhi Leonard make the Lakers a title favorite? Let me know in the comments section below. I certainly think it does. I think it makes them the second best team in all of basketball behind the Warriors. And I will say this. Until someone beats the Warriors, no one is better than the Warriors. No one can be the number one team in the NBA until they take down the Warriors. So the Lakers have to beat the Warriors in order to be crowned the best team in basketball or you know preseason favorites to win the title. The Warriors for now are still the favorite to win the NBA final and lift the Larry O'Brien trophy. We got a comment coming in from Alex Fuentes Jr. saying, if they added Leonard, I'm telling you this team will do great things, especially if Randall re-signs. Now, hey, watch out. Remember to throw in that hyphen in between RE and signs because it just seems that Julius Randall is going to resign instead of re-sign. But I agree with you. If Leonard does come to the Lakers, they're going to have an outstanding run over the next couple of years, especially with the four years that they're able to keep LeBron James here. I don't think that Randall is going to end up re-signing. I think he's going to get picked up by another team who can offer him a little bit more money. But if they do get Kawhi Leonard, you add him with LeBron James and the likes of Alonzo Ball and the Kyle Kuzma, a lot of great young pieces on that team and a motivated front office uh, as well. I think the Lakers have a great future ahead of them if they are able to pick up Kawhi Leonard.